Thank you for holding, everybody. We are now joined with uh, Keith Richard, the head coach of UL Monroe. Thank you very much for your patience. We had a little technical difficulties on our end, and uh, thank you very much to Coach for joining us. Uh, UL Monroe is a three seed. Uh, they will face the South Alabama UALR winner on Friday at 7.30 p.m., and that can be seen on ESPN3. If you have a question for Coach Richard, please dial star 1 on your phone at this time against star 1 to get your questions in the queue. Uh, coach, while waiting for that, would you mind starting us off with an opening statement? Uh, very excited about uh, playing in the conference tournament. Really proud of uh, my team this year in the regular season in conference play, and particularly uh, finished, you know, tied for second. Uh, and uh, you know, especially it's an improvement from last year, uh, which is what we were really trying to do. Uh, I think we finished seven and eleven last year, seventh seed in the conference tournament, and. Uh, you know, so uh, it was a, uh, we doubled our win totals uh, from last year to this year. You know, overall, just a real positive uh, improvement by our team, and and uh, real proud of them, and looking forward to the tournament. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from uh, Trey with uh, Tom Sticky Yoon and NOLA dot com. Uh, Trey, please go ahead. Yeah, Coach. Uh, Good to have y'all down here. Uh, I know, and I think you you inherited the job in 2010, uh, and there were some APDR problems there. It seems like y'all have come a long way since 2010 to the point now. What was kind of the progression of getting this program to where y'all are now? Well, it was a uh, it was a long progression. Uh, you know, I inherited, inherited a program that was literally in a mess, uh, APR wise. Uh, it, it, it actually got worse uh, after I got there because the ATR penalties and sanctions are always a you know a year behind, and and so you know we looked up a year down the road, two years down the road, we had postseason ban, we were down to ten scholarships, practice time, games taken away, we we had the book thrown at us, and and really uh, you know we. We had to fix the academics first, and and uh, so those were some down years, those first three years, uh, in terms of on the court performance. But you know, at the the first thing we had to do was get our academic house in order, and and we did that. And uh, at uh, you know sometimes at the expense of of winning games, uh, we took no shortcuts. It was all about improving our our, our academic uh, performance. Uh, and our APR score started, you know, inching up and moving, improving, and and then in our fourth year, uh, we really got, we finally got all our scholarships back. The NCAA started lessening the penalties a little bit. Uh, we showed a little. We finally got out. We were able to start recruiting again. And uh, uh, two years ago, we showed a little improvement last year with uh, winning ten games and seven in the league. And then this year has been the first year that we've had no penalties, complete, complete, uh, completely done with it. Uh, we had an APR score of a thousand last year. Uh, we won the Sun Belt uh, Team Academic Award two years in a row. So we really fixed, you know, did it and fixed our problems in that in that aspect. But on the court, we started showing some improvement last year. And then this year, as I mentioned, the first year with everything off, and uh, it's been a nice jump, uh, you know, from 10 to 20 overall, from 7 to 14 in conference wins, uh, from seventh place to, to a tie for second uh, conference performance. Uh, you know, it's it's been a long road, but, but I, I couldn't be any, any more happy right now than, than where we are in, in our improvement. And, uh Certainly, our players have done a great job, and our administration too. They they've hung in there with us and stood by us through all of this. It's been a real team effort, and uh, you know, here we sit today and and uh, looking forward to the tournament. And I noticed one thing: y'all are twelfth in the nation in field goal percentage defense. Teams are only averaging thirty-eight uh, percent against y'all. Uh, what, what's what's the key to that? Is it your length inside, or do y'all just guard real well in the perimeter, or a combination of things? It's our length. Our length has made the difference uh, this year, uh, probably more more so than anything. We're we're very long along the back line at the three, four, and five. 
and uh, it, it, it's enabled us to uh, contest a lot of shots. It's enabled us to block some shots, alter shots, uh, and, and it's really you know helped us on the defensive end. We added a couple of a guard, couple of two guards uh, this year that are that are athletic and quick that it, that have enabled us to chase around the other team's best perimeter player. That's helped as well. But if you had to pick one thing, it's been our length. And, uh, you know, we've been a, we're not a, we're not necessarily a get after your defense with steals and pressing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we stayed, we've tried to stay in front of the ball all year, uh, contest shots, as I mentioned, and alter shots and then chase around, you know, good perimeter players with those, those two athletes. And, it, and it's, and it's been, it's worked for us. It's been a, it's been our staple all year. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you, Trey. Our next question has come from um, Adam with the uh, Monroe News Star. Adam, please go ahead. Thank you, it's Adam. Um, just kind of looking at, at the way the bracket fell and everything with you guys um, sitting there, sitting there with the bye, you're going to get either uh, South Alabama or UALR. But just kind of from a preparation standpoint, you know, I wanted to kind of get your thoughts on uh, what you do with that. You know, having that be, have, with it being you know two teams that you guys have actually swept this season. Well. Uh, you know, we did win two games against each of those teams, but, uh, you know, Little Rock is a different team, I think, than, than the, since the last time we've played them. I think they've gone, they've gone small to smaller lineups uh, since the last time we've played them and have played very well uh, in the last half of conference play here. Uh, South Alabama has, has also uh, played well in the last half. So in a way, even though they're the same team, they're, they're, they're kind of different in in terms of uh, how they've been playing as of late. And so we'll use this week to prepare for uh, the team that their their teams in the last half of conference play, uh, as opposed to you know necessarily who they were playing and how they were playing in the, in the first half. I think both of them are playing well and. And I know we had a hard time with uh, South Alabama uh, a couple of weeks ago. It ended up it ended up being a big score, but it was it was a close game with you know five six minutes to go, and and then they went on and won two more. So uh, uh, we'll prepare for both of them this week. Uh, do a little bit on both, along with trying to you know improve ourselves and, and the things we need to work on. All right, Coach. Thanks. Thank you, Adam, and uh, thank you, Coach. That's all the questions we have for you today. We do appreciate your time, and thank you very much for joining us. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. And we'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. That concludes uh, the pre-championship teleconference for the Men's and Women's Basketball Championship. Uh, copies of this will be on sunbeltsports.org later today, as well as our YouTube channel as well. Uh, reminder, first game of the Sunbelt Conference Basketball Championship is 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday morning, and all games up until the Men's Championship game are available on ESPN3, and the Men's Championship game is 12 p.m. Central Time on ESPN2. Thank you for joining us. We hope everybody has a great week. Safe travels to everyone who's coming to the championship, and please feel free to reach out to anyone in the communications office if you need any assistance. Thank you very much, and have a great week.